Shalom, shalom, this is Kapoya, a.k.a. Pops, <clears throat> out of GMS at Chicago, with another sit-down. Before I get started, though, like always, I want to send all praises, honor, and glory out to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekakodash, to the apostles and the elders of GMS out of New York, I want to send the, I want to send all praises, honor, and glory out to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekakodash. To the apostles and elders of GMS out of New York, I want to send double honors because they do real well. To the brethren around the world pushing this truth on cut unfiltered, giving you the good, the bad, and the ugly of the scriptures, correctly breaking down the prophecies and interaction with the people and planets and salutations because they basically stand out there declaring a war on the, on the planet. For the hopeful elect, I hope this is edifying for the aqua, the few, and the truth that's listening to said and shared to keep doing so. But for the scorn and scoff of reprobate two thirds Israelites and seventeen other nations that are in the midst of Jacob's trouble and wanted to go back, it's not going back, and it's only going to get worse. I don't know what these people think they're supposed to see. And I'm talking about the two thirds Israelites and the seventeen other nations. What they think they need to see for the Lord. To know that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is coming back. The elites know. Okay, the elites know what's, what's going on. But it's funny how Joe Sixpack and the rest of them don't want to deal with the fact that brothers have been standing out here pushing these scriptures out, pushing these pushing these prophecies out, pushing these breakdowns, this hook to them out. And nobody wants to act like they understand. It's, you know, two third Israelites are still running up into these, uh, these houses. Uh, these uh, uh, churches made with hands and whatnot, and he said he ain't up in there uh, pursuant to uh, 7 to 48, I think 17 to 24, and I get that one, then I come back to it. Acts 7 and 48. How be it the most high dwelleth not in temples made with hands, as says the prophet. So a prophet is going to be telling you that the Lord is not up in them places. A prophet. Okay? Which is going to be telling you the word of the Lord. But y'all don't want to hear that. Y'all don't want to believe that. Y'all don't want to deal with that. Y'all don't want to accept that. Let me go back to where I was at. So, so I'm... I'm, I'm, I'm just I'm gonna read through this uh, to about verse eleven because so y'all don't want to understand it. That this is the signs that you're looking for is standing out in the highways and byways and putting these and putting these epistles uh, uh, up on a daily basis uh, in in droves, breaking down what the word what the word is saying. This is Ezekiel twelve and one. The word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, thou dwellest in the midst of a rebellious house, which have eyes to see and see not. They have ears to hear and hear not, for they are a rebellious house. And this is talking about southern and northern kingdom. Therefore, thou son of man, prepare thy stuff for removing and remove by day in the sight, and thou shalt remove from thy place to another place in their sight. It may be it may be they will consider though they be a rebellious house. See if you go do this and see if you can get their attention. Basically what Yahweh was saying. Then shalt thou bring forth thy stuff by day in their sight as stuff for removing, and thou shalt go forth at even in their sight as they go forth into as they go forth into captivity dig thou through the wall in their sight and carry out thereby in their sight shall thou bear it upon thy shoulders and carry it forth in the twilight and thou shalt cover thy face that thou see it not the ground for i have set thee for a sign unto the house of israel so, he's got Ezekiel doing all this in, in front of the Israelites because they know he's a prophet. And he's doing all this 
because there's a message behind it. Well, the message now that we're standing out here and telling you is that America is done. It's through. You're not going to get any more signs because the signs that are hooked to us being out there, you are ignoring those as well. How are you ignoring UFOs? The chariots of your how about you now is shot. How, how are you ignoring uh, um, the, the, the military buildup, China flex and weaponry that you have never heard of before? And, and, and you've got a whole monetary system that is unheard of. And nobody's dealing with, no, the only people that's dealing with gold and silver is the elite bankers and, and, and some of those smaller countries. And they, and they just, they putting everything in this crypto so that they can get their hands on the last of whatever precious metals it might be and, and, and collapse everything, period. How is that so hard to understand? Y'all got the distraction of this fucking tarantula venom. Got everybody twisted up. Got people wearing masks. Got, got people wearing, wearing coverings <clears throat> that, that, that doesn't handle a real scenario. If it was a real scenario. I'm ex-military. I was practiced and trained. In chemical warfare. And how to, and how to don. Protective. Uh, PPE. Properly. Real PPE. To keep stuff from going in you. And it's that another because anything that's airborne can be absorbed. Anything that's airborne can be absorbed, whether it goes through your skin or if it's supposed to go through your, your nose and your mouth, then your ears and your eyes are also susceptible. Eye, ear, nose, throat specialist. <clears throat> you ever heard of those? Eyes, ears, nose, throat specialist. All those openings are connected. All them canals are connected. You could be swallowing some water and, and it hit the wrong pipe and you try to blow it back out and it, it went down your mouth and come out your nose. You can have a sore throat and it'll, and it'll stop your ears up. So this is what y'all not understand. The prophets are out here breaking all these things down, telling you what's going on. And I, I straight out the scriptures, and y'all 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 think that y'all going to get a, a bigger sign than that? No. So let me finish this. Uh, seven. And I did so as I was commanded. And brought forth my stuff by day as stuff for captivity. And in the evening I dig through the wall with my hand. I brought it forth in the twilight and I bear it upon my shoulders in their sight. And in the morning came the word of Yahweh to me saying, Son of man, has not the house of Israel, the rebellious house, which said to thee, What doest thou? Why are you doing this? Ezekiel, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this, man? What, what's up? Say thou unto them, Thus said Lord Yahweh, This burden concerneth the prince of Jerusalem and, and all the house of Israel are am that are among them. Say, I am your sign. Like as I have done, so shall it be done unto them. They shall remove Go into captivity. So the Lord was get, said through this prophet, I'm going to show you that you're going to go into slavery. Well, through these prophets that are standing out here on the corners now, we're telling you that you got a hard way to go coming and you're not going to get around it. 
You two thirds, you're not going to get around it. You 17 other nations, you can't get around this. This is coming down the pipe. And for the elect, we're just hoping to, 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 to help strengthen you, wake you up, give you whatever meat that you need to help get you strong and ready to deal with this. So if you're praying, pray, you should be praying, pray for the ability to have a strong mind to get through what the Lord is going to bring because it's going to be tough. Everybody, everybody that's of the elect is going to feel as though they just got saved. They just barely made it. Which means everybody's going to have, they, as they say, the, the, when, the rubber, when the rubber meets the road, all, we, we all got to go through it. So, prepare yourself for it. Because the prophets are still out here pushing it. So the door is still there. But it's closing hard. And it's closing fast. So get up off your ass. And get to work. With whatever your meat. Or your measure is in this truth. Speaking. Starting with myself first. So with that, I want to send all praises, honor, and glory out to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, and to the apostles and elders of GMS out of New York. I send up honors because they do rule well for the brothers around the world pushing this truth uncut and filtered. <clears throat> Basically, giving you the prophecies and the interaction with people and planet, declaring war on it, salutations. Hope we elect. Hope this is edifying. Hope we elect. I hope this is edifying. We do what we do. Well, I don't know any. I don't know anybody that's absolutely comfortable with the amount of work that they're doing or think that they got it made. I don't. I personally don't know nobody. So, for the hope we elect, keep pushing. Keep pushing toward the mark. But for the two third Israelites and seventeen other nations that are in the midst of Jacob's trouble, and think and think that y'all want this man's system to go back to what it was, it's not. And you definitely got destruction coming to you. First group of hardy shallow wine, second group of barber bar.